Cal, that suspect is the victim's own son. A police say he was trying to escape from the home by jumping out the second story window, but he was later caught just a few blocks away from here. And this entire ordeal playing out live in front of as many as 20 people on that Zoom meeting. And this whole Amityville horror happened yesterday afternoon around noon when the victim, Dwight Powers, was participating in the video call while quarantined at home. The 72 year old man was allegedly stabbed to death by his adult son with a reported 20 men on the meeting seeing him fall to the floor before being covered by bed sheets by the son. Shocked at what they were witnessing, they called police. However, no one was certain where the victim lived. Police say their precious response time was delayed about 15 minutes until someone finally figured out that it happened at the apartment on Dixon Avenue, which is a senior living community. As cops arrived, the man's 32 year old son, Thomas Scully Powers, took off through a window. After a foot pursuit, he was finally captured and taken to the hospital for observation. Suffolk police have charged him with murder and say it's possible his arraignment could be today at the hospital. Uh, the reason behind this attack is really unclear still at this point. The investigation remains ongoing and police aren't saying if the son ultimately confessed to them about what exactly happened. However, the entire thing was reportedly recorded on that Zoom meeting, a key piece of evidence for investigators. Reporting live in Amityville, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.